Hello and welcome. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, today is an unboxing. First, I'm quickly showing you some notebooks from Good Impressions. This orange one is for my mom. She really likes that color, so I thought I'd get it for her. And I got square corners. So that was nice. The customer service is really good. Just just so you know. <laughs> and this is a standard size insert for me. It's got 160 pages and it's going to be my next bullet journal actually. Probably not until July though. And it's got 52 GSM Tomo River paper and the dot grid as you can see so I'm excited about that one but here we've got the big <laughs> the big one Yoseka stationery I've never ordered from them before and uh, this order took months to get here I actually thought it was lost in the mail because the last shipping update was on April the 1st and showed the order being in Madagascar so Yoseka have been very kind to me uh, their customer service is really probably the best I've experienced and when this was in my mailbox today I was like almost crying to be honest of relief <laughs> I got here and because I've been waiting for over two months almost three and there's some big ticket items in here this pencil pouch I've dreamed about it's gorgeous this pen pouch excuse me it's just it's right up my alley it's perfect for me. I love that clasp. I love how it opens up and you can see everything that's inside of it. And I love how, love how it's kind of small, but not too small, you know? So I'm really excited about that. Now we've got some paper bits and you know, I'm, I'm carefully saving that washi tape. <laughs> I think it's one of the William Morris MT washi tapes. That's what it looks like to me anyways. We've got the sticker freebie and a personal note that was really kind. So I'm reading that. And I'll take a closer look at all of these paper bits a bit later on in the video, so don't worry. I'll take everything out of the packaging and, and show you up close. For now, I'm just kind of getting my bearings because I was so excited. I didn't really know where to like, where to even begin. <laughs> and I'm wondering about this thing. I didn't order it and I'm trying to read. Um, and then in sign language I'm saying, what is this? What? Uh, I think it's for like stamping on, like you put the paper on top of that thing and then you, you stamp to get like a good surface. That's the only thing I can think of it being. And since it's, um, it's, it's got the, the initials of the person who made that stamp, so... I don't know, if you know, let me know. <laughs> and this is... Oh, this is what I've been waiting on the most. Oh my god! Oh, this pen, I mean... Oh, this fucking pen. I've been wanting a blue pen for a really long time and I haven't... I didn't want like a like a navy blue or a marine blue or like, you know, ultramarine, typical blue blue. I wanted a nice dusty blue, you know, like cloudy skies. And this is perfect. 
it's exactly my shade and here I'm showing you how it sits in my hands. I've got really small hands by the way. And now I'm comparing it to the Coleco Sport. They're very similar in size. And I'm inspecting it closely, <laughs> hugging it. <laughs> And looking at the nib, making sure that everything is okay there. No misaligned times. Just, you know, checking, looking, inspecting, admiring. You can't tell, but I'm grinning now just looking at this pen. <laughs> There's some bits at the bottom of the box. That's a really nice card. And I'm gonna throw out all of the bits because I want to use this box for some kind of storage. So I'm setting it aside for that. And now we're gonna Get the converter out of the packaging. If you can hear like a wind sound, it's my computer working really hard. <laughs> uh, it's a MacBook Pro, but it's uh, it's an old one from 2015. It's a 2014 model, so it's working hard. And here I'm putting in the converter. Fits nicely, everything is good, pen is beautiful. And I'm like, where do I start? What do I do next? And I decided to unpack this stamp. It's really gorgeous. It's this mountain landscape with northern lights and I'm showing that I want to use this ink pad, which is oil based, to stamp on like notebook covers and stuff because this stamp is so me that I feel like it could be like my, my signature stamp, like I could stamp it on stuff to show that this is mine or this is from me. Like people use initials just for me, it's mountains and northern lights because I am from northern Norway and I. I live along the, the mountainous coast, so it's very me. And here we've got the, the brass clip from Traveler's Company. I've wanted that too for a long time. And I'm struggling a bit here. This is uh, a paper pad. It's just got tons of different papers in it. I'm I'm kind of expanding my my collection of of unique papers to to stamp on and to to layer collages and stuff and I have like zero vellums or onion skin papers or anything of that sort so and this is really fun for me I feel like I'm branching out and I'm opening like new avenues of creativity and stuff and I've actually got even more papers coming in the mail I just, I think papers are fun. And I like the, the translucent ones, especially. I know that's like in fashion right now with the Onion Skin Journal being everywhere and stuff, but I don't know, I just really like translucent stuff. I like that delicate feel, kind of. 
And we've got these uh, index clips. Oh, I've been waiting on these. <laughs> I've been needing them in my in my books. I really have. I've already put some in my bullet journal. And I can tell they're going to be really handy. Another new favorite of mine are uh, Zaban stickers. Oh, I'm, I'm doing the normal stickers first, okay. <laughs> These are otters. We'll get a close-up soon. Here they are. You might have noticed the, the otter tattoo I've got on my hand. They just really bring me a lot of joy and my puppy gives me otter vibes, so on days when he's particularly cute, I want the otters in my journal and the Shiba butts for when he's not cute. <laughs> I'm joking, he's always cute. And yeah, I ordered these uh, rub on stickers. I have a couple of packs already and they're my new obsession. I absolutely love them. They're so much fun. They I know other people says this as well, but they're they're really a ton of fun. And I've got more of those coming in the mail as well. So yeah, not not that many, but enough for me to have fun for a while. I love these. I'm not really a flowery kind of person. I don't really like having a lot of flowers in my journals, but I like greenery and botanicals and all of my indoor plants are succulents or green leaf plants. I don't have flowering plants. Well, my cacti flowers, but... And these are really neat because you can like put down the pot first and then put down the plant so you can like mix and match and choose what kind of pot you want for what kind of plant which I think is fun. So I'm looking forward to using those. <laughs> I'm excited. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, now I'm gonna play with this pen pouch for a little bit, just see what kind of pens and what kind of stuff might fit in it. And yeah, just having a bit of fun. It's been it's been good seeing you again and I'll be back soon. I'm working on something, I promise. I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!